about two feet below this Los Angeles home. A construction crew is installing reinforcements in case there's an earthquake. Project manager Simon Ruka took us underground, where his team bolted the home to its foundation. And that could mean the difference between the house standing and collapsing. Absolutely. The Northridge earthquake 20 years ago killed 57 people and caused $20 billion in damage. Ruka says thousands of older buildings in L.A. still need to be strengthened. His wife saw her childhood home crumble during the Northridge disaster. She remembers her bouncing up and down in her bed and her walls caving in. She was trapped inside? Yes. Her father had to break the door in order to get her out of the door because everything just completely warped. Doug Given with the U.S. Geological Survey is developing an early warning system that sends alerts to cell phones and computers up to a minute before a quake hits. Earthquake, moderate shaking, expected in 52 seconds. It relies on 400 solar-powered sensors set up along California's fault lines. Scientists say they need 400 more to improve accuracy. In San Francisco, trains are already connected to the system and will automatically slow down during a quake. If you can detect that earthquake very quickly, you can warn people before the strongest shaking arrives at their location. There's good reason for the precautions. Experts say there's a more than 99% chance another major earthquake will hit the state over the next 30 years. Begachaban, CBS News, Los Angeles.